Oscar rolls around, you're going to be jet propelled or burnt toast. Meet Golden Girl, beautiful, phenomenal, the world's greatest running machine. She has emerged from nowhere, in the right place and the right time, the 1980 Moscow Olympics. As you can see, she is extremely tall, six foot two. In short, Mr. Dryden, this young lady is eugenically 30 to 40 years ahead of her time. Jack Dryden, he packages the superstars of sports. He stands to make $20 million from Golden Girl. If she wins, three gold medals. But he's asking questions. He wants to know who she is. Why can't we continue to grow? His poor bones are just not constructed to carry additional height. What about artificially induced growth? Isn't there some kind of drug that can do that? Yes, there's PSH, a pituitary stimulant hormone. Well, now, you say she's stabilized, but if she's not, if you're lying and she runs, it could kill her. Now, why should we believe you? Because if anything happens to her, my entire life's work is meaningless. Your entire life's work? How was you? You made me think those medals were for me. Oh, no, no, no. Not on your lips. Hmm? No. Hard <laughs> to feet, Jack. You can kiss my feet. You are one hell of a lot to them. Starring James Coburn as the agent. Leslie Caron. She specializes in today's black arts, like behavior modification. Let's say we've managed to channel his psyche. Kurt Jurgens. He claims to be Golden Girl's father and her creator. You owe that to me. Who is that? Robert Culp, the sportscaster, he's paid to ask questions. It's just I have this little problem with uh, this nonsense about the mystery, super, jogger, blonde. And introducing Susan Anton, America's most talked about, read about, dreamt about new personality in a spectacular motion picture debut. Golden Girl, she'll win your heart, even when you know her secret.